And our first team that we're going to be looking at and giving a grade is our MC Reddles, Magic and Cheese, who have definitely, um, definitely had a great performance. I mean, currently oh, yeah. at the top of the NA League. And a shout out to Cheese for getting the MVP of Week 2, as well as being on top of the standing for, I yeah. think, Clutch Playmaker, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there. It, it could be could be Savior or he's got a nomination. I, I think it was I think it was the clutch playmaker, but yeah, maybe someone can correct me on that one. Um, but uh, I mean, he's just been an outstanding player for this team. Mm-hmm. But it's it's been a team effort as well. Yeah, right. It, it is everyone coming together, and it's a team that I think at the start of this tournament, everyone saw as as having a good chance. Yeah, in this in this league, but. They've really, really impressed. Um, for me, that comes down to out of 10, because that's how we're doing it now, yep. 9 out of 10. Because mm. it's not perfect what they did, but True. it's almost close to it. It's yeah. it's really good what, what they have shown. Um, did, who did they lose to? Because they didn't go perfect. Um. They had a loss. I think they've lost to Gen G, G2, and Space Station as their yeah. three losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can already see where, where exactly. that's going, right? Yep. It's Gen G, G2, and Play, uh, PlayStation. PlayStation. PlayStation Gaming. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's been a team that has been winning against all the teams they should be winning against. That's right. You can't say that from everyone. That's right. The, the the common thread that we keep um like coming back to with the RMC team on the broadcast, you know, Spaceman and, and Corelli and I, it's consistency. And that's what you just talked about. Like they G2 has a loss to fun. Yeah. That, um, that RMC was what I was that. referring been, to. They like you said, they they've taken care of what they need to take care of. And I think you nailed it as well. Like Reddles Magic Cheese is not a team that we are expecting to miss the playoff bracket, right? Like it's not something that we think oh, they're not going to be in. Uh, but I also yeah. think community sentiment is probably not that they're going to be on top of the leaderboard when you have teams like Gen.G, G2, Space Station, Rebellion, right, Big, exactly. OG. And so the fact that they have been consistent, they've only dropped three games. This last week, they went five and one. Um, I think their only loss was Space Station. And I think, let me glance real quick, I think it was a game five. Uh, to who did you say? Space Station. To Space Station. Yeah, RMC. Yes. Scouring. Or no, they lost in game four. They lost in game four. They beat them in game five on day three and then lost to them in mm-hmm. game four on, uh, on on day four. So, um, you know, pretty level there with G, uh, with Space Station Gaming. Their only other two losses are, of course, throughout week one uh, to the top dogs in NA. So, yeah, my, my scores is, is a nine as well. I mean, it's not perfect, right? A perfect would be six and oh. Uh, but I think it's incredible what RMC has done, a, a, an incredible level of consistency, which others have, have unfortunately not been able to, uh, you know, have not been able right. to replicate. But, um, you know, top of the standings, moving into the final week, I think that's a place that they're probably excited to be. That's worthy of a 9 out of 10. And we're skipping over to Europe. Yeah. For fake German Amigos. Okay. A different story there. That's right. You want me to lead off with this one or you want to go go for it? Okay. Yeah. Fake German Amigos. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about with RMC, we talked about kind of community sentiment. I think it's harder to peg the EU side, right? Like Is you would it? expect oxygen. You would expect Luna galaxy to be at least towards the top. Um, if not, you know, you're one and two, but from there, it really does just kind of feel wide open. Um, I think there are plenty of good yeah. shouts, uh, throughout the league, you know, obviously jobless should be towards the top. I think a lot of people will recognize the endpoint name, but there's plenty of talent with Resolve and and Sadat and um, Spartaco and Fake GA and and 100% who has really, really been impressive. But Fake German Amigos, you know, we expect them to be in that mix. We expect, yep. uh, you know, we expect some level of consistency, but I think it's it's been a bit underwhelming, especially this most recent week. Um, I think they were three and three or maybe two and four. It was not a very good showing for Fake German Amigos. I also think, if I'm not mistaken, they provided JJ Rocks with their first win in league play. Um, so for me, I have to rate Fake German Amigos pretty low. I'm going to give them a two uh, for their week two performance. Yeah, that uh, makes complete sense. They were shared third 
in Europe uh, right. after day two, after week one. And I, uh, I want to say this too before you go. They took yeah. the auction to game five. Like they played them well at, for the first match of, of yeah. week two. So it looked it looked good. Yeah. That's why I had them a little bit higher rated than you did at a three out of 10, but it's still nothing to write mm -hmm. home about because right. they played Oxygen close twice, right? Yeah. Yep. So that's pretty good, but still couldn't close out a win against Oxygen. That's not a shame, but against other teams, you know, you just have to get more wins out of that, especially when after day one, you are in that shared third position in the league standings, and then you drop all the way back down to seven. That not right? not seven? where you want to be. Yeah, it's seven. In fact, fake German Amigos lost to JJ Rocks twice, which is uh, now JJ Rocks. Not all is not all hope is lost because not all hope is lost. Even though their game differential is a little bit worse than the fifth and sixth position, yeah. they are one of four teams that are currently mm -hmm. five wins right. and seven losses into mm -hmm. this league standing. So there is. Plenty of chances for them to get back into the top five oh, yeah. quite easily, even. Oh, yeah. um, but they need to th th turn things around because this week two performance was not it for them. Right. Well, let's jump back over to NA. We've got G2 Stride, and that is, again, another story. All these are unique because the the, the team's um, like preconceived notions or expectations moving into the event is, yeah. so, is so vastly different. And G2, I think we all know it. I mean, we had discussion on the, on the broadcast day one, would Space Station, or excuse me, would G2 drop a series? <laughs> right. And here they are, sure. you know, and fighting for top three. Um, you know, they're tied at eight and four with Genji, Space Station, and Rebellion in that two through five spot. Um, and, and as incredible as G2 has been this season, consistency-wise even, obviously the high, high peaks with, you know, two grand finals appearance, one win at the majors, but they have never, never finished below second place. They've been in the grand finals of every single event. And so that consistency, I think, is the part that surprised me. You're going to have some tough series, obviously. That you like throughout throughout G2's run this uh, this season, they've had some tough series. Throughout yeah. Carmen Corp's run, when they had the three regional wins, they had some tough series. It's not always going to be cakewalk, you know. Just because you're the better team doesn't guarantee you're going to three zero sweep. But that consistency with making sure you got the series win is what is missing in the Shift Summer League for for G2. I mean. Um, you know, four losses, that is nearly <laughs> nearly their like RLCS loss count, you know. I mean they're they're yeah. Um they're, they're not they're not as high of a level as I expected, at least consistency wise. So for me, I got I gotta throw them a six. Uh I mean this week they, they lost to fun as well. Fun is, is yeah, down at the bottom one. of the leaderboard and, and that's no shade to fun. Uh you know, that's but a big a tough win. loss for G2 for sure. Loss. And and, and exactly obviously right. this is not RLCS. Sure. Teams are going to be playing a little bit differently, treating the games a little bit differently. Uh, and one of their losses was an overtime game five loss to Genji, mm -hmm. which that happens to the best. Well, clearly it does. It happens to the major, re the reigning major champions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that loss against Fun, I mean, that is a little bit unforgivable. Um, I have him at a six and a half out of 10. That, that half is because they did get the revenge against yeah. Fun. And they sw swept them, so uh, you know there's that. But ooh, it's just a pass mark. Mm. Well, they and did then. close. They did close the week out strong, beating yeah. Rebellion three zero. And yeah. and I think you know the reason that the, this is a, a you know a fairly mid rating is because they're it's because of what they are, right? You know they're right. they're yeah, such a high level team. You take so. into account what G two. Exactly represent which is the top of north america and if mm -hmm. they can't be at the top of north america and then we have to yeah you know be a little critical of it well, yeah hey, I mean. tell me what you think about we'll jump back over to europe um, yeah Aspartico. what are you thinking Aspartico. about their performance this past week yeah well I just looked it up it just means spartacus in spanish <laughs> so there you go uh that's a seven out of ten for me okay because that team it's it's a team that is in the mix with so many other European teams, like you said yeah. before. There's just a little bit less parity in Europe when it comes to uh, the Shift Summer League, at least. Um, they are just like fake German amigos. They are one of those five and seven teams, but they're looking a little bit better doing it. 
that that's that's basically my take away from Espartaco. It, it's a team that uh, can sweep jobless, I believe, isn't it? What did it? Um, three and one. Um, which those are the kind of wins that you need to get yeah. Yeah. because jobless have not been looking that great uh, this uh, this event. Even though they're both them in the standings right now, they they're just not. They're getting the wins, but they don't look good doing them, doing it. And uh, Espartaco, they've they've been closing out some series against the competition, like Lunar Galaxy, ending off three one on the second day of week two. That's solid. That's very solid. Um, but then also game five loss against Endpoint. It's a little bit of a mixed bag, you know. So for me, that's a, that's a seven out of ten. That's a that's a decent. Decent grade. Absolutely. I, and I hate to totally copy, but I feel the exact same. I think they had, a, it's just an up and down week. Like they've got a 3-1 win over Luna Galaxy Complexity. They've got that uh, 3-1 win over Jobless. But then at the same time, um, you know, they, they, they drop a series to Endpoint in Game 5. Um, and they drop a series to Resolve. So, and those are, those are not terrible losses by any means. But, um, you know, if you want to get a little bit higher rating, and you see a little bit better performance from you. So Spartaco... Right there in that, uh, you know, pretty good range. I think yeah. seven is is is. Uh, hey, it's a passing grade, right? <laughs> that's that's right. That's right. And they actually they lost th- what three and one to yeah. resolve on day one, on day three actually, and then on day four uh, they got revenge three and one again. So they're just even they're teams, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They did the same with not, endpoint. Not the I think they switched it where endpoint beat them the first time and. Or, or vice versa, right. but yeah. yeah, they traded. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot of rock league. I'm not sure if we'll do it the exact same way if we get to run the tournament like this again. Yeah, uh, but it is pretty cool that you can see teams take yeah. revenge like this. Absolutely. Let's jump back to NA before we close things out uh, with our final team. So we have Shopify Rebellion, um, which I think is an exciting team because obviously week one they had to play with memory. Uh, two piece was gone. I see joins back for week number two. Um, they take a huge, I mean, just a huge surge forward. Week one, they went three and three, and we talked about how that's actually, that's pretty dang good when you're using the sub. It is, absolutely. So um, week number two, they go five and one. Their last loss, uh, or excuse me, their only loss was their last game against G2, and G2 did sweep them. Uh, but they were, it was a one goal game in game one. It was a one goal game in game two, a game two overtime. Then G2 took, uh, took off with it in, in game three. But Rebellion looked really really solid in week two. Um, I was excited to see that team bring like bring the same level once two piece got in, right? You, you just don't always know. And obviously the Justin and Parth were playing well alongside memory in week one to, to get those results that they got. And so I was hoping that they could bring that same level of performance in week two when they got back uh, their, their kind of their key piece there with, with two piece. And they did exactly that. I, I got to give them an eight. I was really, really impressed with Rebellion this week. I, I would go even further. I would have mm-hmm. given them a 10 out of 10 if they would have beaten G2 there. Yeah. But they didn't. They got swept. So it's a nine for me. Uh, they went up two places in the standings from seventh till f- uh, to fifth uh, in week two. And yeah, they just look good doing it. Yeah. Uh, that, that's all, all you need to know about Shopify Rebellion. Uh, they are now eight and four in the tournament together with Space Station, G2, and Gen G, who are all above them. They're, that's the fourth, third, and second team in the league. Yeah. So that just means that a couple more wins here and right. there, and they are right at the top with Rattles Magic G. So it's, it's a close race uh, in, in that upper segment of the leaderboard and yeah. Shopify Rebellion are right back into it after week two. They absolutely are. Well, our final team is not close in a race. We're going to be raiding Oxygen Esports, who is currently 11 and one in league play. They've actually already clinched a they playoff have. spot. They cannot fall lower than sixth. Um, of course they should go ahead and try to win out, um, you know, secure the best possible place that they can in that playoff bracket. Uh, but currently, they are the best performing team in in either region, and they have a a decent lead here. In second place is one hundred percent with a nine and three record. So um, yeah, oxygen for me, 
I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 this week. Uh, they, they definitely here. I mean, I'll just speak candidly. I think in week one, they were having a lot of fun being silly. Um, they ended up dropping a game to endpoint. And I think that is silly business. I think that like, I think that they underestimated the impact it would have. I think it kind of bothered them a little bit. They didn't want to lose. <laughs> I don't think they like losing. They like to have fun. And I, you know, I don't blame them. They like to have fun, but I think they do want to win. Yeah, yeah. And you can see that a lot of times. Like they'll, the series might get, you know, the opponents might get one or two games, and then in game fives they kind of lock the, lock in and, and take care of business there. And so in week two, that's exactly what they did. They bounced back. They go six and zero, oh, no losses in series. I got to give them a ten there. They just didn't mess up. So, yeah, that's right. And oxygen represents definitely the the silly business, the unseriousness that oh, yeah. a league like this can bring, especially to a team that, let's be realistic, sometimes it's just better than, than the, the opponent, right. even before the series starts, it's pretty clear what's going to happen. Uh, so it becomes a little bit whimsical and sure. they start going for shots that they would not <laughs> maybe right. regularly go for all the time in RLCS matches. Uh, but hey, they still managed to to win a lot and, and maybe you're right maybe it's just because they hate losing so much that that's honestly the the trend that i've been hearing about from uh professional esports players yeah. or athletes in general over the oh, last yeah. couple of years that they very often hate losing more than that more. they like winning yeah so their motivation is how much they know how much they hate the feeling of losing mm -hmm. and they don't want that to happen again yeah. It, it, so it sounds I get it. it sounds a little crazy, but also like right. when you kind of when, when you put yourself in that perspective, like winning is the expectation, right? That's why you're playing. Yeah, I I, I want to win. Yeah. I expect to win, right? For a, and and so that mindset to me, I, I mean, I've always been that that way with the sports and stuff that I've played. So that mindset to me, it makes sense. But it does sound crazy. Like, yeah, why, don't you, why don't you enjoy your win? Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, is that not your drive? Trying to yeah. get that trophy? No, you just hate losing. So much. Okay, well. <laughs> Um, uh, I was going to give them a nine and a half because they're maybe not perfect, but I, sure. I, I maybe, maybe I'll, I'll take it up to a 10 because they clinched the playoffs after sure. the second right, week right, and they're right. the only team in the entire league, in the entire shift summer league, both NA and EU to do so after just four days out of six. So yeah, I mean, that, that's, uh, that's worthy of a perfect score, nice. I guess. That's pretty nice. Well, listen, that is our ShiftCast Summer School grading for week number two. Um, you know, we ran through a few of these teams. We're not going to have time for every single team every single week, but we will be um, dropping some grades next week as well, I assume, as we get our final week uh, under our belt. Let's jump.